Baba Mena. Wait now. He gets something where they must yes. For some time now, what I don't say I must talk her with you, Baba Mena. Wait be that. Baba Mena. Ah, Baba Mena. You been for fool yourself yesterday, oh. You for fool yourself well, well. As you go drink so day, you will come there for gutter. Eh? Now so so three plus four are they here? Three equals four. Today she see enter. Next tomorrow na Manchester. Liverpool. Look, look here. Yeah. No sense. Look, I know what to hear your lectures. You they hear me so? <laughs> yeah. Baba Mena, if you know what make, I'll show you. Make you left this drink. Never. It didn't waste you money. All this money when you did end. Now, so it didn't waste some for drink finish. Yeah? And in disgrace, when it did bring for me and my children for this town, go. Baba Mena, I don't tell you. Me, boy, where very old? Because. As you lose your work for your company, no mean talk say make you die. For drink, Baba Mena. Look here. Look, I tell you. You hear me? I say shut up your mouth. You talk to me anyhow now. I go give you thorough beating for this house. Baba Mena, so just because as the maker just advise you, not be the bad thing, well, I can't do so. Come on, get out for road, make a pass. Useless.
Coming back. Keep on waiting for you, Mom. Keep on waiting for you. going to be living with Uncle Mike from now on. But Mommy and Daddy left this house for us and Aunt Nora. Let's listen to what Uncle Mike has to say. Well, sit down. Well, actually, it has now been established that my brother David and his wife Susan your parents are gone. Though they will not be with you physically, but sometimes you will truly feel that they are with you spiritually. You all knew that before the burial meetings were held by the elders of both families. Right now, I have accepted the responsibility of being your legal guardian. Whose turn is it to wash the dishes today? It's it, it, And where is she? She's 
She went over to Chukwu's house. To do what? And you allowed her? Eh? Teach me to sing a new song. I wanna spend my wings and sing a song to you. I'm busy. Hey. Not your fault. I don't blame you. Where's that speaker? Who's scared? I said, wait. Ah. Hey. You two are started going with. You know the dishes on what I came here to play. Hey, come here. Now let's go home. You see yourself today.
So you're letting that little brat get away with insulting me? What do you want me to do? Beat the living daylight out of her? I suppose you've done that already. Go on, Mike. Go on and support them. Go on. Come on, Sandra. Be human for once. These children have no parents. We should be their parents. You should be their mother. Now. Offer my dead body, Mike. Offer my dead body. I'll not be a mother to some part of insolent little aunt. Never. But they've done you no wrong, Sandra. But they've done you never, Sandra. How would you know? How would you know when you're hardly ever around? You come home late every day from work and you tell me they've done me no wrong. How would you know? I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. Listen, before you go to sleep, I think I need money to buy food for the house. What else? Uh, I'm broke at the moment. You better make do with what you slept on until next week. Just look at yourself, talk. Mike, look at yourself, talk. Why won't you be broke? Why won't you be broke when you spend all your life savings on those children? Now, listen and listen good. You had better withdraw them from school. What did you say? You had me right. You must be joking. Those children's education is one thing I owe my late brother, and I'm not giving up for anyone. There is something I'd like to tell you girls. What is it, Uncle Mike? I can't afford to pay your school fees anymore. Did you girls hear me? I'm really sorry. But it's like... Uh, it's like all of you will have to quit school. Just for some time. At least until I'm able to put things back together. So that is it, Uncle Mike. He says we should all quit school because he's fed up with taking care of us. No, Edu, I... He says we should quit school because he's tired of paying our school fees. Because he cannot spend his money on us anymore. No! Because we're not his children and he's not our father. Edu! Stop it! No, I do it! Let's just say it. Go ahead, say it, Uncle Mike. Say it. I just wish you could understand my life. Oh yes, I do. I mean that one day you're going to give up on that. You're going to give up on us. But you know what I'm like? I am not giving up. We are not giving up. did nothing wrong, absolutely. Then why? At least we deserve to know exactly why we have to quit school. But I just told you. Yes. I heard you that you don't have money to pay our school fees. But Uncle Mike, that, that reason is not good enough for me. Oh, take it or leave it. I think it is time to thank you for all you've done for us. I know it's not been an, a very easy job. You know, taking in four little orphans the way you did and, and, and bringing them up to the stage that you have. Appreciate it. We we all appreciate it. And I'd like to say thank you. God bless you, Uncle Mike. 
supposed to have traveled? I was behind bars. In prison. But you said Actually, I didn't want you guys to get back. Fraud was committed in my bank. I never knew that this is what you were going through. I had thought that they would have called me back earlier. Uncle Mike, don't worry. You shall be called back. I believe that the truth will be revealed. Oh. I just wish you girls would have to answer. The girls won't have to quit school. And neither will I. I know what to do to pay the fees. What? God has given us beautiful voices to sing. And he's given me a brain. And I have learnt willingly. And I'm prepared to put it to good use. And that's for all you've done for us. It will not be in vain. God will reward you. And maybe someday, maybe I can pay you back. Now we know that Uncle Mike can no longer afford to pay our school fees and take care of us the way he generally used to. But it is not a good enough reason to disrespect him and his wife. Especially his wife. Even when she gets so mean and bitchy. Even then. We have so much to do. We should be concentrating on our studies. Our church activities are there, and even our singing. That reminds me. Before the church anniversary, huh? We're going to be putting up a gospel music show at Unilag. Won't it affect Kuma and I? We're supposed to be in school two days from today, and we don't even know where the money is coming from. Lelo, don't worry about the money. Everything is under control. Really? Yeah. How true is that? When do you need the money? Tomorrow. You'll get it. Yes, so... Mm -hmm. But just remember not to let Auntie Sandra know about it, okay? Okay? And everybody, keep out of her trouble zone, okay? Okay, whatever you say, but just don't forget the money. Don't worry about that, you'll get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I give to you the divine crew. Awa koni ini kuro baba, ekbero aho kutu yo baba. Turi ela tuwa koni ane tuja tini miti. Osho wani, oni alilu ela fe koni. Oya, 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 oya. Papa, when you love me, do me with that. A simple little routine. Papa, when you love me, do me with that. It's a little routine. I take you with that.
and the day I help you to fight me again, I will either crush your bones to find dust or be too nice to throw you out in the streets. Do I make myself perfectly clear? Now get out of my kitchen. Get out! 
要对。had been on lease for a period of 10 years but coincidentally as God will have it the occupants won the American visa lottery and they had to move out of, out of the country so eventually of course they had to move out of the house as well Marching to the earth. that was not a problem we paid it back you see what the accountants or the lawyers had advised we do is to put the money in a fixed deposit account so that is where you got the money to pay our school fees and to buy this beautiful furniture. Right. Oh, Mela. You are one in a million. What would we have done without you? We would have robbed the bank. Thank you. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's move in. Just don't get to possess it. The maker might not like it. <laughs> Brother Maker, the youth pastor. So, the rumor going around in church about you and Brother Maker is true. What rumor? Have I told you anything? Right there. What is, what is the meaning of all this? Are you walking out on me? Do you dare to walk out on me, Elo? What is the meaning of this? Why are you getting so head, so strong-headed? Where is it going to lead you? Be very careful and just don't bring that head, 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 headedness near me anymore. virtues that mom and dad taught us, even in church. It's not enough for you to go out there and throw everything to the wind and just behave any way you like. It's not good enough. So be very careful with the, with the image you project out there. I don't want people to start thinking that we're all, that we're no good. Please, right? Excuse me.
Fine, thank you. Um, there's something I've been wanting to discuss with you. What is it? I hope there's no problem. No, actually, yes. It has to do with one of your younger ones. Who? Hello, of course. Hello. So she done. I'm surprised you still don't know. With the rumors everywhere, one would have expected you to have called your sister to order. <laughs> anyway. My interest is, you should want now of a maker, because he is mine. <laughs> we are already engaged, and by God's grace, we shall be getting married very soon. She will only make a fool of herself if she continues to see him. He will use her and dump her like a rag. Is that all? Yes. Well, Sister Pat. Mm -hmm. All hairs don't grow from the same roots, you know. So? So? Just because we happen to be church members does not mean that you can walk up to me and confront me with this kind of talk. Oh. <laughs> Elo's business is with Brother Emeka and not with you. Oh. Or me, for that matter. And if you have any problem with Brother Emeka or whoever, why don't you go and confront him and resolve the matter with him? Why come, why come to harass me? And please, for God's sake, don't you ever come to me and discuss this matter again. Oh, please. Oswald Snatcher. Christ-like relationship with Brother Mika. How could you tell? He's my boyfriend. Hmm. Or more rather, your sleeping partner. How dare you? You're just jealous because you don't have a boyfriend. Hello. You shut up and continue eating yourself. No one is responsible for me. Have you heard? Hello. After all these years, you can say that to me. There's nothing wrong with what she has just said. We are all old enough to know what's good for each of us. Oh, really? This is interesting. So, where is your own brother in Christ sleeping partner? Or haven't you found one yet? Listen, just because you follow her around like a zombie, wherever she goes doesn't mean that whatever she does is correct. She's wrong and so are you. Why me? How do you know this is not obvious? We are platonic friends. Indeed. Yes. Yes, indeed. They are platonic friends. And I know that. 
All these parents also know this. But in fact, put that aside. You, Elo, you have no moral justification to commit fornication with a man. No matter what he does for you or promises you, whether he's showering you with gifts or money and promises you the whole world, that is how far you can go, Mena. You go out every day, come back very late at night. What do you stay out doing? Slaving for us or having your own secret affairs? You're just a rotten pretender, Mena. Are you mad? What? Stop! Okay. How you dare you? You have no connect for us ever since we were kids. You little rot. I don't have to sit here and listen to this whole head and down sisters. Let's go pro for this. What do you mean by that? I don't believe this is happening to me. This is my reward. After all I've done. Don't walk out of that door. Or? Or what? Just don't do it. Okay? Not what the trouble. This is not enough to drive us apart. A maker is not what the trouble. He just might find out when it's too late that he's a louse. He's not what the trouble. Okay, rubbish. Go back here, two of you! Don't worry about that. Just accommodate us for some few days. Please, please, my mother is around. So? Isn't she supposed to know about us? Please, please. Please, my mother is around. Okay, you can tell her I knew she was coming around. Please, my mother is around. My mother is around. No, please. Can't you understand? Please, what? My mother is around. Please, what? Please. Hey, Isn't that the lady's voice? That's my mother, please. Can't you please go on? Please, what? Please, what? Please, what? Oh, darling, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing here? Hello. Oh, you mean you didn't get my message? Hey, Mecca. What is she doing here? I see the way she's even mopping at me. Oh. What? God. You will be excellent to me today. You will be excellent to me what you are doing with her. Let me. Hello. What am I doing here? 
You were brought a few minutes ago by your sister and a young man. Why? What happened to me? Is it okay? Is it? Take it easy, okay? Take it easy. Yeah. I don't think there's anything wrong with me. I must go home now. Easy. Listen, listen. Take it down. I'm afraid you can't go. Why? Is there anything wrong with me? Take it easy, okay? Easy. Doctor. Easy. Speak easy. to me. Is anything wrong? It's all right. Listen. Let's come down. Doctor! Promise me. Please! Don't come back. I just can't walk for 
now, okay? You don't have to worry about them, eh? All you need now is some rest. You need to rest so that you get well. We're praying every day for you so that you'll come back home. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Johnson. They call me JJ. Um, I'm Coleman. She's a 
Mm. Pleasure. That was really good. Well, how long have you been doing this? Well, we belong to a family gospel band. We have a new problem, so we split. Oh, I see. I see. Mm. May I have the next dance with you? Come on. Um. Come I, on. I don't bite. Okay? <laughs> sure have a way of making a woman say yes. Tell us last night after I had promised to give us five thousand naira, now give us only two thousand naira. We have to look for another place to perform. But well, we can't keep jumping from one place to the other. And I can't keep putting up with that thief. How much do you have in your pocket? Five hundred naira. <laughs> Well, you have to hold on to that till tomorrow. We will get to better me. She feels you put me up to this. But I did. Zeno, there's no one out there for you. Auntie Nora is presently out of the country. And you know Mike can't come up with such an amount of money. The lawyers and the bankers have promised to give you half the amount, but, but that's the best they can. Wise decision. Because uh, they can't deplete your resources because of men. Zeno, Zeno, read my lips, okay? You are not dropping out of school because of Mena. Whether she's able to walk or not. Elvis, why did you make those decisions for me? I only confided in you because you are my best friend, not my mentor. Besides, how are you going to do it? With your beautiful voice, my dear. Just let me be your sole agent and your manager. And leave the rest to me. Okay? Okay? Step in, let's see what my mom has to say, okay? Oh, Elvis. You're more than a backbone.
Да, свои. You're looking so dejected. Now tell me, what is bothering you? My name is Susan. And you? I'm Sina. I, I want to go into gospel music. I have been looking for a recording deal. But all the companies that have gone for, for audition have rejected me. Maybe I should go into secular music instead. Oh my dear. Stay in gospel music. I'm happy. I believe you and your sisters will make it very soon. How did you know that I have sisters? What is my big lady doing? Well, I'm alive. <coughs> and I thank God for that. The doctor said you are going to be well soon. so good to us. God bless you. You've been so faithful. Even to your wife. You know, standing by her all these many years. Even when 
<coughs> Even when, when she couldn't give you a child. When the Lord pleases, I know he will give us a child. children of my own. You girls are my children and I love you all. Thank you. <laughs> By the way, have you heard from Elio? Not a word. Bring them, bring them back home. I promise. I promise. Who is it? It's Elvis. How are you guys doing? Oh, fine. Ah, I thought I heard some singing. Eh? I haven't even heard that shared hotels. Really? Yeah, we're going to give them our best track. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, I I came to talk to you girls. Uh, what a place you have here. Belongs to my boyfriend, Judy. And um, what is Mr. Platonic friend going to say? You don't look like Zeno, do you? And men are. <laughs> so when you try to fetch water with a basket, it's all about a futile attempt. Meaning? All I'm simply trying to say is that it's high time you girls made up with your sisters. Did they put you up to this? Of course not. Just remember what you girls went through growing up as kids. Please yeah. don't even mutter a word of that. Come on, look at yourselves. Look at how you're leaving. And you think you quit school for no reason? I don't see that as any of your business, Mr. George and Jury. Elvis, men I tried to leave my life for me, even when it was not her business. And I will never forgive her for not telling me about Mecca and Patricia. <laughs> but she tried to stop the relationship before it was too late. And you didn't want to listen. Come on, just, just let it go. Enough of this peace treaty talk, Elvis. You girls listen, if today Mena lies critically ill in the hospital and almost paralyzed for life and yet she can't stop thinking and worrying about you girls and here you are sitting and passing useless comments, you wait, okay, you wait, you wait till she's dead. Zero, guess what? I got you the singing deal. It's a lie. I'm serious. This organization is doing a fundraising for missionaries and I got you the deal to do the singing for them. Will you do it? Come on, would you do it? 
Don't just stand there staring at me. Will you do it? Don't do it. Oh, baby. yeah, my oh. baby. <laughs> it's nice. I'm happy you do it. Zina, <sighs> come on. What is it again, Zina? Talk to me. I saw Mena some days ago. Yes. Her condition is getting worse. You know, you worry yourself too much. Huh? You worry too much. She's going to get better. I've always told you she will get better. She'll be okay. Oh. <laughs> Mena, considering all the stress I've gone through, this is gold to me. So, what's the good news? Well, there is a fundraising for missionaries taking place next week. And Elvis has got me a singing deal to perform for them. Oh, you know. uh, uh, that's wonderful. Oh, I'm so happy. Me too. Hmm. I most certainly would like like to come and watch you singing. You know. Now, you shouldn't bother yourself. You know what? Say now, come on. I'm, I'm not an in, invalid. I'd love to come and watch you singing. Well, um, unless, of course, you don't want me to come. I know. It's not that I don't really want you to come, but, you know, you are still not strong. And by the time you get a little bit better, Maybe then you can come, but now you have to rest. Do you understand? Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, the song I'm about to sing is a song I usually do with two of my sisters. It's a pity they are not here today. I, I just hope I'll be able to do it as good as if it were the three of us.
to me when I came here last week. Last week. Look, ladies, I've been working here for the past two days and I've never heard of a staff by name Susan. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. I don't understand. Someone I spoke with just last week. Zinu, I sure that woman was working here. to make it. She said you and your sisters will make it soon. What did she mean by that? Wait a minute. She said her name was Susan. Isn't that strange? What's strange about her name being Susan? That's mommy's name. Mom? Mom?
<laughs> We'd like to say a very big thank you to all of you, as well as those of you who stood by us, and to God Almighty for being there for us, and to our sister Mena, who was there through all our difficult times. Thank you. I pray I see your face. Telling me to sing your way. Oh Lord, Father, I do crave your path. But the burden of the life is heavy in my heart. And I have seen what I shouldn't see. I tried to find the urge to ask if you real. Teach me.
such pride But I don't know what it's gonna find Every time I close my eyes I see a face and know that you cry Tears in heaven Tears in heaven As we are sharing the dawn, my heart tells me to run, but I just keep holding on, cause it's feeling oh so strong. I wonder in vain Would I find my feet again Would the sunlight Shine through the rain And erase all of my pain And now my heart still left to try But I don't know But I find my feet again Will the sunlight shine through, through the rain, rain. Yeah, yeah.